I should take a closer look at the body one more time. So, um... Unfortunately, their genitals probably did get vaporized, so... I mean, I guess we know it's a woman at this point, so... Watch yourself, Makoto. She may be dead, but she's still a girl. D don't worry. I'm not planning on finger-banging her or anything. <laughs> I'm not Kyoko after all. To me, the pa long painted fingernails, that immediately says Junko to me. But. There's something next to the body. It's. It's a key? Is it what Kyoko took from Monokuma? Yeah, she stole a key. That's right. Sh the key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. Huh? We just said that was the, the key? How's that? Okay, yeah, this isn't anything like that. I was gonna say, what? Then this key is. What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. <laughs> I've never seen this key before. What could it possibly go to? Oh, yes, it's another bomb. So you don't even know, then. Hmm. Makoto, I'm going to give you a very important task. Uh-huh. I see. That key might give you access to a certain area we thought were locked. Certain areas we thought were locked. You mean... So, in other words... The bio lab, the data center, the headmaster's room, the door rooms on the second floor... It's in your hands. Yeah, man, we stream again. We stream for like five hours every day now. Well, every stream day. I don't know why, but this water tastes really good right now. I just like filled up this water bottle with, you know, like filtered water. And uh, I don't know why, but it feels like it has like a hint of like strawberry for some reason. Very yummy. Very yummy. Zoe, I've been streaming for three years straight and making content every day, you know. 27 is what I'm sticking at. So, uh, yeah, if you want a comfy community, you know, don't worry, it'll remain small. So I'm just your errand boy now? do 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 I'm actually happy with 27. I average like 20 viewers now. 27 for Danganronpa? I'm actually kind of pogging out of my gourd. I thought, if I had to guess, I thought we had like 13 or something. Um. Okay, time to check every area. Rawr. Yeah, by the way, I'm not going to read the text every single time he checks the key. So, sorry if, if, that, if that bothers you. Oh no 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 Zoe, I'm not I'm not attacking you. I was just explaining to you that like Yeah, don't worry. Like 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 I was trying to say that 27 viewers is not odd and it's you know it's gonna stay this way. Wait, is that really what we were supposed to check? No, right? We we we've already had access to the storage room before. What? Oh, the gate! Won't go in. Welcome back, Miku. Is this seriously going to be the last fucking place to check? Uh, yeah, sure. What did you do today, Miku? Yatta! 
Miku, it took you two hours to shave your fucking legs? Three? Oh my lord. It fits. Miku, that is just embarrassing. The first time I shaved my legs, it took me only like a half hour at max. Doesn't matter how hairy you are. It took- Josh, it took you three hours to shave your legs the first time, too? What- what are you- what, what are you- what are you doing? How? Wait, you're like... Choop. 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 I'm talking about with a hand razor. How- three? I- I literally feel like you guys have to be lying to me. Three hours to shave your legs? I have to pause the stream right now, because I just- I can't. I can't even. Three hours. I don't understand how that's humanly possible. To, to shave your whole body? I'll give you three. But just legs? I guess you just don't know how to shave your legs properly, like, at all. Here, here's a tip, okay? You put the razor at the bottom of your leg, and you, sh you in one swift motion, you go, and shave up your whole leg. Maybe you were shaving down and doing little patches. Yes, you can shave it when it's super hairy that way. Trust me. If you had some shaving cream or or some some you know, I don't know, something, you you, you you'll get through that bitch. And then, okay, e even if you can't do one stroke, so you go, shoop, wash off, shoop. Okay, now now you did one streak. I usually actually use conditioner. I, I rub conditioner on my legs. That's usually what I use to shave my legs. I go between that and, 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 and uh, shaving cream. God, I'm so fucking sweaty. Is that the first time you shaved your legs ever, Miklu? Oh shit! It it your the hair when when the hair grows back it's probably gonna be kind of irritating. You're probably gonna get some ingrown hairs and stuff like that. But uh, it's so worth it. It's awesome, dude. Having shaved legs feels so sick. Oh, it's so good. I think the weirdest part of shaved legs is when you like put on like your underwear or like a pair of shorts and it like touches your legs or even pants. Like putting on your clothing in the initial like start when you're when you just shave your legs, it feels so odd. Okay. Anyway, back 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 to our mission. Then this is the key to the data center. I managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go and tell everyone else. Yes, dude, shaved legs in bed also feels Sometimes, dude, sometimes what I'll do is I'll shave my legs and then I'll, I'll I'll lube up the lotion right before I jump into bed and then I put my thigh-high socks over my legs and go to sleep. Dude, it, it feels so good. I know you like, you're like, doesn't that get hot? It, it, you, you can figure it out. It's, it's not that bad. I, may, I immediately headed back to the garden. So you're back, how did it go? I found out which room the key goes to. The data center. Huh? And then we can go into the data center now. I see. Interesting. But why did the now deceased have the key on them? Hmm. I suppose we'll have to go to the data center to find out. Yeah, I think you're right. Hmm. Here we are. Uh, looks like the door is still unlocked. Um. Hey, so. When you open that door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom like before, right? Miku, the fact that you still haven't worn socks yet means that you are in fact gay. It's only not gay if you're wearing socks, so you really need to figure that one out. Uh, um... You're asking that question now. Hmm. Don't worry, we have Makoto. What? In other words... It's in your hands. Again? It means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. 
Why can't Togo do it? I bet if she did it, then she'd turn back into Genocide Jill too, which would be great. I open the door. With a silent prayer, I go in. Nothing happened. Slowly open my eyes. Whoa! Spooky! Spooky, 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 spooky! Dude, look at the- Dude, they have cameras, like, right on the bed. I bet that that bed camera is definitely on Kyoko. You know they're jerking off to Kyoko sleeping. That's fucked up! Don't agree. In a word, the room was... Strange. I mean, all the rooms up until now were strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school. Here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... Hero extended a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all the monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. Each monitor displayed a different selection, or section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms, every part of the school is covered. This, this is... What? It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. All the cameras, <clears throat> all the cameras in the school fed back into the room. And they're displayed here on these monitors. So that's it. Dude. I just saw one of the cameras that pointed to the garbage room. We have not stepped foot in the garbage room since the first chapter. If we get free roaming ability, I'm gonna see. I want to see if we can go in there still. Like, I, I feel like that's the one room we have not seen in just so, 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 so long. I think more than any other room. I think, I, I think truly that one. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. <gasps> to, to watch us. Then this room is... It's all clear now. The Mastermind's private room, without a doubt. We open the Monokuma door and Kyoko's just chilling in there, spying on all the cameras. The Mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the Mastermind was here. Watching us. <laughs> then I think that settles it. Huh? huh? Hmm. The body in the garden... If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. <laughs> it was the body of Makuro Isubaka. And she was the mastermind. Huh? Then the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. What? What? For serious? <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before right. Master could kill him himself. Yo, stop. Stellar, st Stellar Moon, welcome so to the Team Unity community. Echo, thank you for the host. Relax. Get comfy. Take a, take a sip of water while this host alert goes. Grab, grab some popcorn. I really need to find the, the source of that host alert. The, the girl that voices that is so fucking hot. Mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? Does that mean it, it's all over? Oh, you know who you know who voiced that that girl? I mean You know what girl voiced that? Because I mean that body. Thanks for jumping in the chat immediately, though, Stellar. I, I hope you enjoy uh, your stay as well. Thank you. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't mean to die a natural death. So, who was it that... But... But if the Mastermind is really dead... Woo! That means we can finally get out of this hellhole! Woo! How about that? I know, Cred, why do you keep linking that clip like every 30 minutes. It's really weird. <laughs> we gotta hurry up and find the exit, come on! That's enough. No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh? Uh-huh. 
But what about the exit? If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, <laughs> we need to find out why the mastermind set this up, uh, set this life or death game in the first place. Hmm. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was ob ob obviously murdered. What? what? <laughs> murdered? Hello, Fufulaji. You, you think so too, huh? Naturally. Hmm. The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There's absolutely no doubt. <laughs> the mastermind was murdered. But... Why has it got to be that way? I mean, who could have done it? Such ignorance. That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and the identity of the mastermind. I'm telling you! N now do you understand, you useless insect? You're banned from t talking to Master ever again! The mastermind's purpose, and why they were killed. This room may as well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the master mind must have spent who knows how much time here. Hmm. Okay then, let us begin our search. It's time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. Wait, is this like investigation time? I'm now wondering like, what if there's no more murders? What if all, like, six of us get out of here? Who's to say that doesn't happen? Nobody else has to die. You know, we, we could start a, a pretty nice family here, I think. And, 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 you know, there would also be a lot less incest, which would be really nice. Um, you know, Byaka gets gets with Toko, I guess, and I guess me and Aoi, and then we'll let Hiro uh, die alone. No, 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 we gotta be a good guy. We let we let Hiro fuck Aoi as well. We gotta d diversify the seed, you know. There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high performance PCs. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Hmm. So what? We can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. Huh? Yeah, no more murders. Why is that such a weird thing to say? I think we might be safe. Yeah, someone died, but, you know, we all love each other here, right? Like, that person died just because they were the mastermind. We needed to kill them, you know? Everybody else here, they're, 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 there's no way. I, I think we all love each other, and, and, and we're going to become a family. Who killed them? Fucking probably Kyoko. She fucking, you know, whatever. It's cool. Kyoko's not going to kill anyone else. What century are you from? The mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network. An alter ego. Hmm. You may well be correct about that. What? But there's no point in thinking about it now. The, now, now we're gonna start, uh, instead of murder class trials, we're gonna do love class trials, and we have to figure out who has a crush on who. And if we get it wrong, then we all just have to have an orgy. You're right. This door looks kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? No lock. Um. The door's locked, huh? What if you use the key that you open? Uh, used to open the door. Let's give it a try, just in case. No dice. Hmm. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, I guess you're right. Can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about it's not gonna do me any good. Hina's right. 
Their mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. It's almost like they're foreshadowing the fact that the mastermind is in fact not dead. There's a ridiculous amount of numbers of monitors here. A ridiculous amount of numbers of monitors. And the mastermind's been using them to spy on us. <laughs> as long as I ha have this. Uh-huh. Uh, look at Master Go! It's like a feast for the eyes! Uh, uh, how much is a monthly membership? Cool. Yeah, Tuck will sit in this room and just spy on Master the whole time. A little, little, little Blu ray DVD pop in a Blu ray back at my place. Dude, look at the, uh, look at the bezels on that thing. Ugh. Ugh. There's nothing showing up on this one. Hmm. Uh, hey, look, next to that TV. Is, I thought that said, is that a TV? Uh, wait, Mr. Explosive. Welcome to the Team Unity community. We actually, we just witnessed an explosion not too long ago, so welcome. Um... For some reason, I thought that said, like, is that a stamina shot? I have no idea why. Does it make any sense? Is it TV antenna stamina shot? What? How about that? It is! Just like how the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high def antennas. I've never seen one of those in my life. It just looks like a big pill. Wait, so if we hook up the, that antenna, we could watch TV? Huh? Huh? Did someone say TV? You know? Well, well, Saturday morning heat is here. Hmm. Uh, are you talking about me? Okay. Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. You know? Oh, well. You're all starved for that info from the outside world, huh? Hmm. All right, let me show you. Let me work my magic. And you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? <laughs> you know? Hmm. Huh? Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what's wrong? Hmm. Good news for y'all. Uh, for for all you Saturday morning kitties out there, I think I got the TV working. Ah. Really? Hmm. Now all we gotta do is switch it on. What? Then do it. Ugh. Freaking idiot mastermind. All you guys need is to cut free your regrets from the outside world. What the heck? And they were sitting here watching TV this whole time. They really just thought that they could get away with it. Huh? <laughs> Why is he like squatting like that? He looks like a sumo wrestler. Hmm? Huh? What is this? Hmm. It's the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitoring the room. What the heck? Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? That's really weird. Hmm. <laughs> You're weird! Weird in every way possible, and not ju just weird, super weird. But... But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Well... Because we are the TV show. Oh. My. God. Um... Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. Hero went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just... us. 
kind of like an even more fucked up Hunger Games. It was a life fed of us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Hmm. Is it broken or something? Could it be? There must be some kind of weird setup. Hmm. Hey, boy. A trick? What kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, but. <gasps> hmm? Stupid. What? what? Huh? You're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. And then Kyoko walks out of the door and she's like, ah, bitches, it was just me. That's why it's different. Of course. Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Uh... Not even. It's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now, it's sublime. That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. <laughs> Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all of this, uh, for all this moment. <laughs> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. <laughs> Yeah, I see what you did there. I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm gonna laugh right now. <laughs> well, now. And that's that. Shing. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past. So full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want you all to have more fun in this killing game. Huh? You, you can't be serious. We have to keep going. Let me out of here! Get you out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? Unbelievable. How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here! And besides... Yep. This life isn't all bad, you know? I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life no matter where you are. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? <laughs> well now. Well now, well now, well now, well now, well now. I'm pooped from all the laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The point? Hey, um... You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding some kind of secret. What the heck? But I connected the antenna, so why is it showing us on the surveillance feed? <laughs> Look at how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood-gushing secret and tell you about it. Ta-da! The TV is absolutely, without a doubt, displaying the signal coming in the antenna. Huh? But... What does that mean? But it's just us standing here. Unbelievable. Ah, oh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine. I'll just tell you. Thrills, chills, kills! This killing game is being broadcasted live to the entire world! It's the most popular thing on TV. <clears throat> because it's the only thing being broadcasted. A bada bing, bada boom. Oh, hey! So he's technically right. What? Extreme! This killing game is being brought past Kitten Yeah, we already heard. It doesn't matter how many times he says it. I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. Huh? Well, broadcasted live? 
to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? But that's... It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? Oh my god! They probably saw me with my dick out! Phew. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one trick that I found in Hijack the Airwaves is easy mode. Uh, are you being serious right now? Of course! I heard a kind of creaking. But the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossed into the ocean, my mind began to creak and groan. Hey, um... Everything has a meaning, you know? All those hints I gave y'all, those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me luring you in here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience. To show them true despair like they'd never seen before. <laughs> I became the director of a despair-based production. This is the ultimate reality show. The best in despair entertainment. What are you saying? You're lying. If this was on TV, the police and everyone would be going crazy. Uh, um... Yeah, yeah. There's no way they would have tried to... Uh, they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually... What if... They already did. Huh? Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV and try to warn you, but who would actually come to help? Hmm. The bystander effect. Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though, so whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communications like that, you'd need an astronomical amount of resources. <laughs> yep. So, uh, how could things have come this far? Well, wrong. Yeah! that's a secret. There's something all you need to do first, remember? Kill each other. Dude, how the heck did I get like three followers playing Danganronpa today? This is like insanity. But LB Gaming, welcome to the Team Unity community. I appreciate you coming by today. Thank you. What? Of course. Yeah, duh. There's a little business of. A body has been discovered! Poggy Woggy? After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Huh? Huh? C class trial? Do you mean... Well, my favorite is Celeste, but you know, she, uh, she dead. <laughs> so just sit back. Hey, Relax. Relax. Get comfy. It's the Monokuma file. It's grab, the Monokuma file. I'll leave the next Monokuma file here. Everyone, give it all you got, okay? Heart pounding excitement. Ba bum, ba bum. Okay. Things are gonna get pretty crazy from here on out. You're in for a heck of a ride. I can't wait! I can't wait! The yeah, top three, Chihiro, Celeste, Kyoko. Yes. And then, he was gone. Reality was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. Well, if you if you if you really want a uh, Chihiro person, um, you can donate a hundred dollars, and I'll cosplay Chihiro for you. <laughs> I'm actually kind of decent at cosplaying. You know, I'm not, I'm not just saying this out of the blue, by the way. I I, I I do dress up as a girl very often, once a week, actually. Ah, Pepe hands. You're telling me you could afford Dongan Rompa? You can't afford to buy me in a hundred dollar cosplay? <laughs> what? You're insane. We just stood there and 
I don't know for how long it was frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. I don't understand any of this. What's despair entertainment and how the hell is he still alive? I'm sick of this. If I thought that finally, I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. Yeah, the only way I could uh, buy cosplay with my own money is if I then took pictures and posted on OnlyFans. <laughs> Cha-ching. <laughs> and plus, what did he say about a class trial? Stop talking. Well, that's the obvious part. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point we need to figure out who the culprit is. Figure out who killed Kyoko. What? What the heck? What the heck are you talking about? I thought Maruko Isubaka was the one who died. <laughs> the victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means the mastermind Maruko Isubaka isn't dead. <laughs> So naturally, that body can only belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. There's no other possibility. The body is... Kyoko? Kyoko's been... Murdered? No. It's not possible. Because... 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 I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. To so have it in like this. I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Quiet. Whether you believe it or not, it doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe it, it is your responsibility to uncover the truth yourself. Myself? <laughs> anyway, we'd better begin. But... But, if we're gonna have a class trial... Dude, I'm telling you, they can just use a freaking dead body. I don't understand. Or there could have also been a hidden student, which is also totally a thing too. But like... We can't... Like, there's no way we took care of the dead bodies that we found. Because literally, we were told that the incinerator was too small to put a body in during the first trial. You're telling me we just have like chopped up body pieces somewhere? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Maybe we're all cannibals. Maybe we, we've just eaten everybody. Just throw them in the big plant. But if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer. That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Hmm. Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? Uh, but you said... Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. There is a... veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. <laughs> so I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. That is how the game works, after all. <laughs> Oh my god, listen to this music. This is, uh, this is, this is new. Never heard this. Pretty epic. Pretty dang epic. Well, here's, uh... Does anyone know how long this investigation will last? I really would love to get like 20 more minutes in Danganronpa, but like... At least an hour. 35.45. Dude, this song is amazing. Ooh. 
We've been playing Danganronpa for an hour and a half. Which is fine, I can cut this into two parts and then it's 45 minutes, 45 minutes. <sighs> but... I like, I, again, I wish I could just do like... 20 minutes, half hour more, but... I, I would hate to stop midway through investigation, so we... We, uh, we should probably cut it now. All right, let's at least continue until we get free movement. Maybe that'll have like five minutes. <laughs> well, I better check out the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. It had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The identified body. Could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened. Or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. Monokuma file has been added. Damn. Still got the Epic Jams plan. Okay, time to get started. I need to check uh, anywhere that may be important from one end to another. I just need to do what I always do. Okay. Alright, we'll have to save that for next time.